Hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, told you I'd be back with a review of what I wore this week. So here it is. Like my previous video, been a good week. Thought it was going to be a slow week. Ended up going by pretty fast, which is epic. Like when a work week goes fast. Um, yeah. Um, what did I wear this week? <sighs> Weather is getting a little nicer. Still chilly. But a little nicer, so I want to wear something to kind of remind me of spring. Coffee. Remind me of spring. So I, I did. Something aquatic-like, but not quite aquatic. Um, I get into it. Um, did I wear? I'm going to butcher the fuck out of this name. I'm not Italian. I know it's an Italian designer. I am not Italian. Never claimed to be. Ermenegilda Zegna or Zigna Umo. Got a shopper's $19. No, $17. I think. Maybe it was $19. Can't remember. $20. Bucks. Um, that's the box. Just uh, all your information and stuff here and all the fun stuff that I bought. Um, that's the bottle. I like the bottle. It's got this like waffle pattern. Not waffle, but you know what I mean. You can hear it. It's on both sides. It's not on the sides or the top or the bottom. Just on the front and the back. Um. Umo written down there. Of course, all your batch code and information stuff. Cap. It's got that name on it. Zinga. <laughs> uh, nice cap. Not heavy or anything. Just a nice kind of acrylic cap. Go along with a glass bottle. An acrylic cap. Uh, clicks into place. Really good, actually. Atomizer. Okay. Gives you a bit of a narrow stream, but gets the job. Whew, fuck, I love this stuff. Gets the job done. Um, like I said, a, a simple bottle, but still nice presentation on it. Again, that simple yet elegant kind of look. <laughs> Let's get into it. Umo. I'm not pronouncing the name anymore. That's ridiculous. <laughs> Umo. Released in 2013. Classified as woody aromatic. A lot of accords. Citrus. Woody. Ozonic. Air, aromatic. Aquatic. Fresh spicy. Green. Fresh. Earthy. Um, notes. Citrus and bergamot off the top. Uh, violet is off the top, but it's listed as a mid-note, but it's kind of the whole life of life of the fragrance from beginning to end. Um, violet. Well, violet leaves, but violet. Um, lavender in the mid. The base is vetiver, cedar, possibly some amber. It's not been listed, but I get a bit of a... That kind of slightly salty and slightly sweet from it towards... The end of the fragrance, which is nice. It's actually got a bit of sweetness, tiny, I mean, tiny bit from the start, too. And that's, I'm, I'm assuming that's going to be the citrus notes they used. Um, but it's not a sweet scent at all. It's just got a touch of it. Um, longevity. Moderate longevity, you know. Five to six hours. Nothing fancy, nothing great, but not bad for what I would consider a spring type set. I wouldn't call it so much a summer scent, but I'll get into it. <laughs> Projection, pretty good for about an hour. Really good for about 15, 20 minutes when that citrus is popping. Um, I really like this one. It's... A, it's, it's, a, it's not an aquatic. It's got aquatic elements. Um... You know, it's not a blue scent. It's got some blue blue qualities to it, too. Um, 
but it is very, it's like an aquatic, woody, aromatic scent, if that makes sense. Um, I would rather wear something like this over pretty much any aquatic any day. And yes, that includes the Bulgaris. Um, because it's got personality. It's got depth. Um, I, I, when I sprayed this on the very first time, um, it reminded me of something. And I kind of forgot about this one. I didn't wear it for a while. And I, you know, going through my stuff there last week. I was like, what am I going to wear? So I've worn this in a while. And I remember liking it. But I don't remember like, oh, it reminded me of something. <laughs> first sprayed it on again <clears throat> this week. And I was like, Jesus, this reminds me of something. And I could not put my finger on it. And for three or four days, I'm wearing it. I'm like, man, I love this scent. It reminds me of something I really like. And I just couldn't remember it. So I went online. I normally don't. I even went to Fragrantica, which I completely avoid for the most part. Uh, that's such a toxic website. Oh, these people just trolling people for no reason. Telling people their opinion's wrong. I said it before, I said it again, opinion can't be wrong. Facts can be wrong, but an opinion can't be wrong. Um, but people just put people, I don't like Fragrantica. Used to like it years ago when it was, a, but the last, especially five, six years, just been a bunch of people trashing people, voting down things and voting up things because it's funny because in France, they'll vote for something they haven't even smelled yet. This is coming out, and you'll get 9,000 fucking down votes. It hasn't even come out yet. How do you know what it smells like? Well, I know because of fucking the original stunk. There's a lot of originals that stink. The flankers are great, and vice versa. A lot of originals that are great, and flankers stink. I mean, you don't know until you smell it, so. Use Fragrantica with a grain of salt, is what I'm saying. You're better off joining... Um. Facebook's groups and things like that, although they're getting really bad too. It's really hard in a hobby, especially a hobby where it's that's so um, subject, sub, subjective as this because people like what they like, people don't like what they don't like. That's just the way it is. Um, so I avoid most internet stuff like that in general. Um, your best bet, honestly, is to go and try shit, get samples. Just try shit. Um, find out what you like. Don't let people tell you what you should like or what you shouldn't like. Find out what you like. Um, anyway, end rant. For granted, go. The internet in general. <laughs> so, uh, no, I kind of like the internet. Just, you gotta avoid certain places. Kind of like any big city, I guess. There's certain places you just don't go after dark. <laughs> um, so, you know, what did this remind me of? I went online and I'm like, <sighs> and a lot of people, oh, it, you know, it was a huge a shit ton of people saying it reminds them of almost exactly of uh, YSL Lome Libre. I haven't spelled Libre, so I knew it wasn't that. Um, although now I'm interested, very much so. Um, but I was like, eh, it's not that. I don't, I've never owned Libre. I've never smelled Libre. And uh, what was it? Fahrenheit and Fahrenheit Aqua. I'm like, that's it. It smells like Fahrenheit Aqua. I don't have Aqua anymore. I only had a couple samples of it. Um, it's expensive now. It's like niche prices now. Um, so this is good to get because it kind of, Reminds me of Fahrenheit Aqua without that price tag. Um, yeah, it really does. And they sh the main thing I think that they share is the, well, there's the woods and the citrus and the aquatic stuff. But the main thing is that violet. Um, you get that somewhat in Fahrenheit, it's it's a lot denser, a lot heavier, 
definitely gives you that what people say gasoline smell. I don't get a gasoline smell. There's a bit of a petroleum feel to it, but it's more of an earthy feel. But I get what people are saying. It does have that tinge to it. Um, this does too, but very slightly. This is basically. A lighter version of Fahrenheit, if I can say it right. I mean, just a an aquatic version of a watered-down Fahrenheit. And that's, I don't mean watered-down in a bad way. I mean, nice, the, the violet is toned down. Uh, the, the woods are toned down. Um, a very aromatic scent. Like I said, its projection is pretty good for about an hour, maybe even an hour and a half. And the first 15 minutes to half hour is really good um silage is good you're always going to have for pretty much the whole life of the scent with the exception of the last half hour or so you're going to have a nice scent bubble you're going to leave a nice scent trail um people are going to smell you when you go into the room it's going to be and they're going to be impressed they're going to like it I'm so glad i'm getting so tired of uh <clears throat> everything having tonka and vanilla and benzoin and fucking blah de blah scent. This had none of that. Uh, I'm even getting more tired of everything coming out smelling like Invictus or Invictus Aqua or an Invictus this and an Invictus that. No similarity to Invictus whatsoever. There's no bubblegum sweetness. Um, yet still managed to be mass appealing, easily mass appealing. People really do like this. Um... I guess you could say it's an aquatic, if you want, for a, for a, it's a more mature aquatic. Doesn't mean it's a mature scent. I can see teenagers all the way up to old men wearing this and everyone in between. It's just got a more, a little more sophisticated smell to it than Invictus or most of your aquatics. Um, doesn't smell quite as old school as Fahrenheit. Whew. Ooh, I love Fahrenheit, but man, that's, that's manly shit, manly. Um, <laughs> yeah, I guess if you've smelled Libre, I haven't, so I can't say for sure, but everybody else says it smells pretty damn similar, and you like it, then you'll probably like this. Um, if you like Aqua Fahrenheit, you'll definitely like this. Pretty similar to Aqua Fahrenheit from what I remember. Um, if you like Fahrenheit and you want something pretty for the summer, you'll probably like this. If you want to smell pleasant and pleasing without smelling like Invictus or Cool Water or Bulgari Aqua and any one of its clones or any one of its flankers, you might like this. Um, it's got a bit of that Italian cologne vibe going on with the citruses and the lavender but it's just it's i keep coming back to it it's that violet leaf and that wood vetifer and woods um, mixed with that aquatic accord they're using just giving it this it's got like i said how it's, it's got depth but it's light and airy at the same time very unique type scent um, yeah, it's, it's great. Compliment factor, high. I got three compliments wearing it this week. Um, all from young ladies. Really liked it. Really good. So it's very nice. Um, then I asked half a dozen people after that. They all said the same thing. Oh, I like that one. It's nice. And that's what it is. It's nice. It's not mind blowing. It's not going to blow the roof off um it's not disgusting you're gonna make you stink it, it's just a, a simple yet different it, it's like a contrast the whole scent you know it's airy yet it's got depth it's aquatic and it's a deep woods it's bloody blah 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 so yeah i was really surprised when i bought it that's all i'm gonna say i didn't think i'd like it as much as i did so <laughs> Give it a shot, guys. Uh, you can pick it up. I don't know how much it's going for online, but at Shoppers, 
anywhere from seventeen to twenty dollars. Uh, it's only a fifty mil, I think. Yeah, just a fifty mil, but still twenty bucks. Uh, I'm going out today. The shoppers, one of the shoppers, brought me had a few of these the other day, and I didn't buy them. It's kind of what propelled me to wear it this week when I was out last week. I was like, oh, I'm going to wear that. So, so now I'm going to go and see if they have it and get another bottle of it. It's uh, one of my ones I want to have backup bottles of because you do wear a lot of it. I, I should say that when I say it lasts five to six hours, that's probably seven or eight sprays. So, because it's it is a lighter scent. It's not as light as a lot of aquatics, but it is a lighter type scent. Maybe when it gets warmer out in the heat of the summer, you'd only need two or three. But right now, where it's still a little chilly, you need half a dozen. So I'm going to go buy another bottle of it today. So you know it's really good when I'm getting backup bottles because I've got so much cologne that I'm probably going to wear that one out. Um... Yes, yeah, so guys, so I hope you all had a good week. I um, hope you're all staying safe and all that jazz. Summer's coming. Hopefully, we'll get back to some sense of normality here in the next couple months. Um, we're still doing really good here in my neck of the woods. We always have been. Um, well, that's because... We're a smaller city, and we've got a smaller population. You know, we've got plenty of room to stay away from each other. And the winter kind of, yeah, winter kind of makes us stay inside anyway around here. So, <laughs> yeah. So, I hope you all have Anyway, wear what you love, guys. Honestly, if you don't know you're going to like something, it's okay to do some research, of course. Um, Just don't. Take everything you read on the internet, especially Fragrantica, as a, you know, a, a scripture. It's not. Take it with a really large peach of salt and uh, just try shit. I know it's hard because it's expensive sometimes, but you can even go to stores and just spray them on while you're there and try them. Um, so, yeah, guys, that's it. Hope you all have a good week. I'll see you next week. What I'm wearing, I haven't decided yet. I'll decide later. Peace, love, be good to each other.